Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a collective candle review. These are three candles that I picked out from Village Candle. I have had some pretty good luck with Village Candle. I bought these a while back when they were on sale at TJ Maxx. Um, I do not go to TJ Maxx anymore for my candles though because they raise their prices, but I thought that all these three candles would go pretty good together, so I have one of these going in my kitchen, and then the other two I have in the living room, and it's a pretty wide open space, and every single scent pretty much lingers together, um, and it's a really, really good combination of scents. I will go over the least scented to the most scented and show you guys um, if any candles have had problems in between. So let's start out with the Juicy Melon. And um, what drew me to this candle was of course the orange color and the picture on the label. You see the Juicy Cantaloupe and you know, you think, oh, it, it probably just smells like cantaloupe, but it doesn't. It smells like cantaloupe and honeydew and watermelon kind of all um, combined together, I feel. Um, I have had some problems with this candle, as you can see. There's not an even wax pool. This is not from, um, well, I'm sorry, there is an even wax pool, but you can see that there's wax residue on the side. This is not from not getting an even wax pool because all throughout I have had one. I've had no tunneling issues with this candle at all, so I'm not really sure as to why the wax has collected on the side. But out of all of these three candles, this candle is the one that has the puniest wicks. I'm not sure why. It just does. Um, and because of the puny wicks, I feel like there's not maybe a big enough flame for the candle, and that is why there is wax on the bottom, but other or on the sides. But other than that, I've had uh, pretty good luck with the candle, so knock on wood that it continues and hopefully it all pulls together, but I'm pretty much halfway done uh, with the candle. So now let's move on to, and you guys can't really see the label down above, I'm sorry, it's daylight here, but um, my lighting pretty much sucks today. So this is the Village Candle Cantaloupe Cucumber, and this is such a refreshing scent. You get that cantaloupe and you get the cucumber mixed into it, and it just intertwines so well. I would say that this is the second most scented candle out of all three of these. I really love the color. I really love the picture. And I'm just going to move this one out of the way and this one out of the way. So you can see that nice even wax pool all the way around. I haven't had any problems with this candle whatsoever. This is probably my fourth or fifth burn. These candles burn pretty slow, I must say. Got it for $9.99. Like I said, that was before um, the Home Goods and TJ Maxx raised their prices. But yeah, I really, really love this one a lot. And like I said, it really adds to the scent of the other ones. Um, just burning all three of them together. I think it's a great candle. And um, Given the opportunity and at the right price, I definitely would buy this one again. I would not buy the Juicy wa juicy Melon, but I would buy the Cantaloupe and Cucumber again. I can definitely smell the scent when I come into the room, and I can distinctly pick out, um, oh yeah, that is the Cantaloupe and Cucumber scent of the candle. So let's get on to the last candle, but certainly not the least um, liked. This is my favorite one. This is Juicy Raspberry, and again, sorry about the lighting. Um, I love this candle. I love everything about it. I love the color. I love the picture. I love the scent. I love how it's performing everything. This candle has the most highest wicks, so I have a nice even wax pool going throughout the whole thing. I'll just turn it around a little bit. It's really, really big, really, really chunky. Um, 
Everything about this candle is awesome. You get these juicy, juicy raspberries, and that's why it's called Juicy Raspberry. Um, you can actually smell the true raspberry scent. It's not synthetic. It's the true raspberry scent. It almost smells like raspberries that have been sitting um, in a basket out in the sun that were just fresh picked. It smells really, really good. So I would definitely buy this candle again. Like I said, the wax pool is awesome. I have had no problems with the wicks whatsoever. Um, but if you can see, I actually took this candle out at the same time I took um, the cantaloupe and cucumber out. Now, the wax pool on the Juicy Raspberry is slightly bigger. I don't know if you guys can make that out, but it is slightly bigger. It starts right about there. And the um, cantaloupe cucumber starts about there. So there is a difference um, in the wax pool, and I believe that that's just because of the wicks. But all in all, I mean, these candles are not that bad. Would I compare them to Yankee? Mm. Some Yankee candles have a really strong scent throw. Some Yankee candles you can't smell at all. I believe same thing with Village. Some of them are really strong, like this one. Um, some of them are on the lighter side, like the Juicy Melon. I haven't really had a Village Candle, though, that didn't get off, give off any scent at all. Which, with Yankee, some of the Yankee candles, I can't smell at all. I've had really, really good luck with the tumblers. I've been talking to several people, uh, several of my friends, and um, we kind of discussed about switching to tumblers versus the large jars because sometimes the large jars just don't don't uh give off that scent but yeah so these are the large jars by the way of the village candles and they are always two wick no matter what size uh jar candle you get it's always going to be two wick which is awesome because that's why you get that nice even wax pool i haven't had to use any alumalids i haven't had to use any sweaters um anything like that. So everything has been working great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this was kind of a different um, video. I just wanted to do all three at once instead of each individually and show you guys uh, what's kind of been going on in my living room and kitchen. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe down below and have an awesome day. Bye guys.